number nine from the 2018 Advanced Higher Maths. A proof question, but it's a direct proof. Usually it's an indirect proof to do the Advanced Higher. A direct proof is just what you've always done, really, isn't it? Anyway, who's going to complain? Prove that the sum of any three consecutive integers is divisible by three. Well, you'd have to start off by introducing a variable. Let's use n. Let n be an integer. Then what you're going to have is n plus, the next number is n plus 1, and the next number is n plus 2. And that equals 3 lots of n plus 3. Take out that common factor of 3, which is 3 times n plus 1. We should have put a name here to begin with. Just call that the sum. The sum would be that. So I can say this now. That means that the sum is divisible by 3 because it's 3 times something. And there is a reason, because it'd only be divisible by 3 if that was an integer, as n plus 1 whoops, is still an integer. They may not require to say that part, but that's part of the proof, really. Next bit. Any odd integer can be expressed as the sum of two consecutive integers. Right? Let n be an odd integer, which means that n can be written as 2k plus 1, where k is still an integer. Now, 2k plus 1 is simply k plus k plus 1, and I'll just bracket that bit off, which equals the sum of two consecutive ooh, integers. And if you'd gone for 2k minus 1, it still would have been the sum, because that would have been k plus k minus 1, and they're still consecutive.